Yo, what up? Um, yeah, I just bought this Reason 5 software I was talking about, you know. And, um, you know, it just came out. And I just went to the store and bought it. But I got the dual, you know, pretty much the whole package. You know, it's like $600 total. But, um, yeah, this is the Reason 5 and the uh, Record um, 1.5 Duo here. And this is the, um, I don't think they haven't changed the Recycle um, new version or anything. I think the latest version is 2.1. This is the 2.1. So that's what I have. And I'm um, just letting you know that, you know, I'm not a pro musician or anything. I just, you know. I, I, just, I just one of those that, you know, I heard about it, like, years ago. I was like, man, you know, I think, I think that, uh, you know, the, that uh, software is uh, nice, you know. And, uh, you know, just something to, something to have, you know. I'll, I do probably the best thing I've pretty much done is uh, just, you know, like, audio editing, you know, tracks and things like that. You know, so that's pretty much, you know, but... You know, I've been asked, pretty much asking for it for years and years, trying to get it, and finally I got it, you know, but I'm glad I got it, because I got to put the drum machine in there this time, you know, uh, called the Calm uh, Drum Designer, I'll show you a little later on on it, but anyway, um, enough of the talk, uh, basically, uh, I'm just going to show you the workflow, you know, a little bit, you know, from what I see in the tutorials a little bit. You know, because I only had like 10 minutes of um, doing this. So, but anyway, um, um, the computer I use, you know, just letting you know, the computer I use right now is called Gateway FX. Uh, this is, the Gateway FX is mostly for, um, like gamers, right? You know, with a gaming, pro, um, it's a gaming PC right here. And this is pretty much what it looks like, you know. Um, I think this is really good um, PC for uh, doing um, studio, you know, like music, music studio, because this is very powerful. It's got um, eight gigabytes of uh, eight gigs of RAM, and um, also um, let's see, eight. Was it the Intel 7? Uh, what are the highest processor I, that, that is out right now? Uh, which is like eight multi-core processor. But uh, I think the the system requirements for this really don't need much. You just need to have a, a lot of uh, hard drive space. Um, <clears throat> all you need, basically. I mean, I'm running the Windows 7 Ultimate, but um, basically what you need just at least the XP and Windows XP uh, one gig of RAM you know more DVD drive of course you know three gigs hard drive space um, you know monitor and pretty good sound card you know for this you know but you know uh, but main thing is get a lot of hard drive space on it same thing with this you know you're going to, if you plan to do a lot of music on it. But anyway, uh, let me go ahead and get started. This is basically just showing you the workflow. I'm not, you know, really going to do much explaining, you know. So um, let's go ahead and get this thing started. And adjust the camera a little bit. There you go. All right. First of all, I got recycle. This is what the recycle looks like. Start off with. Um, you know, um, uh, like this screen right here, that you can open up files right off the bat, but it only uses uh, very few uh, file extensions, uh, at least the WAV. Uh, I got most of my um, music files on uh, WMA, that's like the Zoom um, type of file, the Windows. Um, media player but um, what I do in this case I just open up you know like a cheap uh, audio program called SoundForge and um, this is what SoundForge looks like the SoundForge takes anything just about um, so I just basically take you know like one 
open up files here and I don't know just just open up anything you know just to start off with just copy and paste just actually cut or copy and then just go right here and um, can't paste it here but on what I what I should could um, could do is to basically go to edit go to paste it new document and there it is you can actually see this file here so that's what that's what recycle looks like it's just like that it's real nice but um anyway um i just go ahead and show you uh, what i already have you know since i don't have much time on on this let's go ahead and close this one let's open up this part the sample all right, so here it goes. Uh, yes, yeah, piece of sample there. You do all kinds of stuff on this. You can like change the pitch. Um, so much you can do on this. But really, the workflow basically, you got this whole piece right here. Just crop and close it. Just going to stop it right there. All right. Uh, good thing about this feature is um, it's got this uh, uh, the sensitivity. I like this because instead of like manual, you can manually put things in, but you you can just uh, all you do is bump the sensitivity up. It'll find the uh, uh, the slices for you. You know, it does the slices for you. So now I got this going. From what I'm playing with is, um, I think slices. Once you slice it up like this right here, um, then you can take the slices, put in the the uh, reason software, you know, like an uh, import it, and um, from there you can use actually those slices as part of the keyboard. Like like just pretend these are keys on the keyboard. And you just hit the keys like that. So, um, right now the um, the attack and delay and stretch you can actually put it in, um, change the tempo, you know, gain gain it and all that. So that's, uh, that's what it is. Let me go ahead and um, check this out. Like that change the tempo. Well, you gotta do the preview first. You gotta hit this button. Alright. Let me go ahead and, uh, I guess I have to put the preview just like that. Um, throw some slices in here. Because I think you gotta have that. Alright, go ahead and play it. I'll come back with the part two. I'm gonna try to figure this thing out. Hold on a second. <laughs> 